Hey kids, it's Brian Trailman. It's Pez Through the Ages. We got a Facebook page, a YouTube channel, and a sleeping kid upstairs. So we're gonna do this one a little bit quieter, I think. So here's the deal. We did the 90s versions of Star Wars, and there were quite a few. That took about 10 minutes to get through. These are the ones from 2000 through 2010. All right, they only fall into really a couple of those years, but we're gonna break them up that way because there's another batch for 2010 forward. Actually, that's not even true. I've left out a few. Uh, these are the ones through, let's say, 2008. Okay? So this is going to cover uh, episodes 1, 2, and 3 that come out in 99, uh, 2002, and 2005. This guy comes out uh, alongside Django Fett here. This is your clone trooper. And uh, the clone trooper comes in this one version, as far as I know, uh, other than a couple of uh, additional ways of this striping happen. Please post your picture in the Facebook page so we can keep track of what these things all look like. People are really quite interested, it seems. This is Lucasfilm, and you can tell it's different than the Stormtrooper over here. This is Jango Fett. It is the same mold, as far as I can tell, of Boba Fett. Boba Fett has a couple of different colors. I explained the two different colors that I have. There are uh, There's a third one that's some color in between. But you can see that the Django Fett, which is Boba Fett's dad, if I am thinking about this clearly, or son, I think dad, is uh, is blue and silver instead of these colors. And of course, he's a Mandalorian, Mandalorian armor anyway, and so it's going to be similar to, but different from, the Mandalorian Pez dispenser, which comes out much later. This one is Lucasfilms. There may be other color variations of this. I sure don't know, but I'd be happy if you told me. Uh, so those are the first set. And then over the next couple of years, we get these. And we don't get them all at once, but uh, like this mini R2-D2 doesn't come out until pretty recently, but it's the same mold. Let's talk about General Grievous first. General Grievous is uh, here you see on a 5.9 and a 7.5, but take a look. The line here and the line here is different. The eye paint is slightly different. This is silver. This is more of a bronze. The price guy just has one. And either way, my view is these are each worth a buck or two. Or less, actually. Lucasfilm, copyright. Let's do the Wookiee. This is not Chewbacca. This is a Wookiee. And this one, so there are really, there are two versions. And let me see. I think, I think John's got them both in there. Um, you can see the difference in the the darkness or the, the depth of color here. And of course the stem color is different, but what's also important to note, if you care about this kind of thing, is this is a Lucasfilm copyright. And this is an LFL, which is of course Lucasfilm's limited, but uh, comes later, which is consistent with the different patent numbers. So that's Wookiee, known in John's book as Chewbacca B. This is also Chewbacca B or Wookiee, but you can see it has the stem printing on this. This time, this has made it into John's book. Uh, he's got it in for a few bucks, but my view is the stem printings are worth five to ten dollars a piece. You get another one of those with the uh, Emperor Palpatine. Here it is, same kind of thing, uh, with the China uh, printed on. And these, I meant to look this up for you. This one only comes in a special gift box. This is the glow in the dark. I think if I'm remembering it, it was only available at Walmart. It was a set of eight, 10 set of cardboard box with some plastic wrap on it, limited number of a couple hundred thousand. And uh, both of these are Lucasfilm, but these are the two versions. This guy glows in the dark and this one does not. Now, let's move on to the Death Star. We've got two of these. You can see quite clearly the differences. Uh, I'll point out again, you got Lucasfilm Limited and LFL. 5.9 and a 7.5, which would indicate this one came later. Again, consistent with the LFL um, abbreviation. I'm not sure which one I like better. Maybe the later one. It's not as stark, but it seems more authentic as authentic as a plastic toy that fits in your hand can be. And then we've got R2-D2. So let's start with your normal R2-D2. Looks like this. Uh, this one looks identical, except it's a brighter white. They come out, the brighter white one is much later. And the copyright is really hard to see here. It's this 
little line here. That one is Lucasfilm, and this one is also Lucasfilm, but different colors. And if you look at the top, you'll see there's a different gray, dark gray on the right. This has made it into John's book. Uh, a deeper or more coverage of the blue. These lines are lines where these are more rectangles. And there are probably some other differences here that folks will point out. So I'd say those are two distinct versions, although not the kind of versions I tend to collect anymore. I will do this kind, which has a red dot, as opposed to this, which does not. Not an error. And this one in tiniest letters is going to be LFL right there. So it's a different mold, a different paint job. And the paint job with the red dot is consistent with the later version here that comes out in clear. This came out in a tin only, I think, or maybe it came out like this elsewhere on card. But pretty sure you get this one in a tin with Yoda B, Darth Vader, and C-3PO, the four-footed crystals. And this one should be LFL as well. And indeed it is right there. It's got the red dot just like the other LFL. And then lastly for this set is the Mini. Comes out pretty recently. I forget when, but uh, do I? Hold on a second. Or to D2. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I can tell you that I got mine. Does anybody really care? I'm not going to do this. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I got mine in, in, oh, it's not that recent. Oh, it is. I have no idea. I think it came out in 2015. Uh, this is going to be an LFL as well. And there it is. If you can see that tiny little lettering, it does not have the red dot, which is kind of interesting. And it's a 5.9 China with lowercase. So those are at least the ones in the book, uh, plus an extra general grievous. And I invite you to tell me where I got something wrong and where you've got an additional variation. Take care.